How are you all doing today? Welcome to the vlog. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in southwestern Ontario. Yes. No, I didn't forget where I live. It's just such a nice day. I could not stay inside. Had to get out here and soak up some sunlight, get some fresh air. It's great. You gotta love these nice days. I hope you guys are out enjoying this weather. I mean, what's not to enjoy about it? I've got Project Mystery Red all fixed. Completely new uh, rear uh, gear casing, the gearbox. What else did I replace? The idler gear is new. Thank you, Chewy, for the idler gear. He donated it to me so I could keep rolling. And that's, that's, that's how it's awesome this way. When you got a good RC group, everybody networks parts between each other, so we all keep going. So, uh, what you guys did miss was I had, I had, We'll do a little walk so I can show you. Had Megas out. Megas is running again. It's all back together, good drive axles in it. And I swear, I no lie at all, it's between 60 and 80 mile an hour. I was coming up along here like usual. And then I went, hit the brake a little too hard. And you could see, if you look right in front of this truck tire right here, that little mark in the gravel, did not harm the tire, didn't even leave a mark on the tire. But I did break a caster block because that's what hit first. Not an RPM part, so that'll get upgraded and it'll be something else new and something else blue on Megas. So let's uh, check out and see how Red's doing now. Just before we start making some noise and kicking some gravel around, I'll show you guys something. This is J Concepts body, and it's held up pretty good, but this is pretty horrible. It goes right up to here. I'm gonna use some fiberglass sheets and some shoe glue. We'll fix that. But for now, you'll hear a little extra noise because of that. Mom's heading out on her e-bike. Love you dearly. See you later. Her mighty e-bike. Gets her everywhere she wants to go. No gasoline, no emissions, no insurance. Just got to deal with bad drivers out there. Yep. Alright, safe mom. I will. Take Love you. Love you more. And while I'm out here, I thought it'd only be proper to stop and show the Earthbound Misfit. You know, I wish I had some paint on hand right now. I would actually start painting this. Get it all ready to go. It deserves a good coat of paint. Did all the heavy sanding last year. Oh, 
hope you guys can see that okay on the camera. I better get out of his way. Uh oh. He looks grumpy. Ooh. Precision parking. You're home. Uh, I had to work late. Yeah, I thought I'd wait for you. I figured you'd be home eventually, so that's why I didn't have to make a second trip down. Got some nice sunset going in the background. Really nice backdrop. Nature. So, got a fuel bottle. And the stove. This is a little heat shield. In the stove itself, but you know what? I'll take a little. So just to show you guys, I'm, I can't actually light this tonight. I want to clean it right up before I do. You can see the carbon all over everything. Sets up like that. This canister hooks up just like this. Put the heat shield around it. Once this fills with fluid underneath, gas. It'll heat up this pipe, and then as soon as it gets to a certain heatness, uh, fuel in the pipe actually vaporizes, causing more of a jet of a flame. It's very awesome. But we'll show you that in another vlog, because i got to clean it before it can be lit. Alright, so it's all cleaned up, and, well, I could be a little bit cleaner, but oh well. That'll happen soon enough. Get all the carbon out of it. Use pretty much uh, electrical contact cleaner, it's also like a brake cleaner, and it cleaned it right out. This thing's good to go again, so maybe tomorrow we'll get a chance to check that out. But on the note of camping, I've been in communications with Craig this afternoon. You guys remember Craig? Craig the Viking? When it comes to camping, he's my number two. He's always there. I don't mean like number, not that number two. Come on, grow up. Craig is always there when I go camping, especially this spot. This spot is like our Valhalla. It's like heaven for us. And we have some plans this year for the camp trip. Uh, I, I want to take the cannon. I really, really do. Because there's moments, there's sights and things where it's completely majestic and you're like, wow, I wish I had a nice high definition camera. So, but either way, I'm going to bring you guys, whether I bring the cannon or whether I bring the action cam and a means to charge it, so I can make sure I vlog every moment while we're down there. Now if I bring the cannon, it's only going to come out for those really, really beautiful, majestic moments where you need that high def, like this brings forward. The action cam's good too, Activion, but I like the cannon better. I just, I prefer it. So I'm going to have like a bag of camera gear, no RC stuff. No RC stuff, not this trip. I'm going to eye it up and see if it's worth it for next time. But yeah camping trip this weekend. Let's hope so. And here Mega sits, broken parted. Needs a caster block and then we can get started. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get some blue RPM caster blocks, replace that, and it'll be back in action, sitting nice and low. I've got that set up pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with it. And being happy is important, so before I end this vlog, I'm gonna say what I always say. Stay positive, keep a smile on your face. Join us right here tomorrow where we do more vlog stuff, probably more RC stuff. We'll see what happens. See you tomorrow, vlog over. Have a great night.